Art Rocks is made possible by the Foundation for Excellence in Louisiana Public Broadcasting and by viewers like you. Hello, thank you for joining us for Art Rocks with me, James Fox Smith, publisher of Country Roads Magazine. We begin with the very local story of a world-class violinist whose career stretches from the biggest stages in Shanghai, China to our part of these United States. Since Lin He learned to call America home, he has performed five times at Carnegie Hall and shared stages with classical music giants including Yo-Yo Ma and many others. For more than a decade, Lin He has taught violin at the LSU School of Music. Here and now, he shares his journey with us. I have done performance with Yo-Yo Ma twice. Once is in Tanglewood, this is like the mica of or aspiring young musicians. This is a summer festival in Berkshire, Massachusetts, where is the summer home of the Boston Symphony. And he's, of course, he himself is international uh, celebrity. And he's the kindest person as well I ever worked. He was just so down to earth. The highest honor I received is I actually happened to perform in Carnegie Hall five times. Once is the solo and chamber music debut in Carnegie, the small hall called Wild Hall, actually featuring my wonderful colleague Dinos Constantinidis' composition. And that's, uh, he is doing this annually there to show visibility of our school. And he wrote some wonderful original compositions. Me and team up with a few colleagues went to the small hall. Playing a concert in Carnegie Hall is probably a dream come true for every musician, every artist, not just classical musician. And then, I am involved with a group called Music for Life. They work for Doctors Without Borders. A group is donating their services to playing concerts. For me, it's very, very important because every concert, there is a subject. The concert I played is against violence towards women. You are sharing stage with the concert master from the biggest name you can ever imagine, Philadelphia Orchestra, Chicago Symphony, uh, Metropolitan Opera, New York Philharmonic. What an ex experience for me to sit on the bigger stage called Isaac Stern's editorial to reach out people. You know, you know those people. It meant so much to those people who is coming to the concert. Maybe at the end of the concert, they will offer a donation to help the organization and to save another young lady or old lady's life. There's a lot of people I played concerts with. Also played concerts uh, when I was at Eastman. Auditioned for the orchestra called New World Symphony in Florida, and then that's the orchestra called me a few times to, as a ringer to play. And that that's the concert I played with a feature soloist, the cellist called Lynn Harrow. Lynn spells L Y N N. Sadly, he recently passed away. So he played the beautiful French. A concerto called Dutier Cello Concerto. And the most recent encounter, he came to play as a soloist with Luzena Fermanic. I enjoyed tremendous experience. I think this is really a gem of the city or of the state. You know, in Louisiana, overall, we have seven orchestras. At the busiest season, I'm involved with five of them. I'm involved with Louisiana Fermanic. I'm involved with Better Symphony, Lake Charles Symphony and Rapid Symphony. Bedroom Symphony is my hometown band and I enjoy it tremendously. You know, the concert program is very engaging. You know, many donors loved it. And I think uh, uh, the programming is very innovative. You know, we have 
Mozart's birthday concert usually happen in January, and also we have some big uh, subscription concert with international uh, soloist, international level soloist, and also we have some pop concerts, which is always a big seller. For for example, we have the Star Wars concerts. Seems like it become a tradition nowadays, and we even have small groups to chamber music play in alternative values to attract different type of audience. So. Long story short, I enjoy it very much. I even played several seasons of Nutcrackers. Mozart, Schubert, and Beethoven, these are three composers are dear to my heart. I recently played all the Beethoven violin sonatas in three concerts. Nowadays, I'm trying to devote myself an entire year or entire one semester to focus on one singular composer, read about this composer, and really dive in deep about his output, his compositional style, his different genre, his contribution to the world. So I played the entire Mozart sonatas in four concerts with four different pianists. That's quite a challenge. And two concerts of Schubert, the entire output. I have been doing that kind of project. Funny thing, if you are not nervous at all, I don't think actually it's a good thing. Because you want to give your very best to the audience, you want to reach out as many people as possible, that makes you nervous, I think. If you don't care, then whatever. So I think there's a certain thing make you a little bit hyper, make you want to give your best, actually do create that kind of a little bit of, of, of physical feeling of giving your very best actually creates better performance. Although maybe if your hand is shaking like that, that doesn't quite work. For me, you want to prepare almost 120%, 120%, not only 100% is not enough. You prepare, you prepare, you you play with slow speed, you play fast speed, you play backwards, you've tried everything to make it solid. As a musician, it's very, very important to play living composers' music because Mozart, if during Mozart's time, nobody played his music. His music will not be played by me, by anybody nowadays. So you have to have a contemporary, similar age, musicians are supportive or being the advocate of your music. I'm currently is commissioned a piece of my colleague, Mara Gibson. She is our newly appointed composition professor. Um, my wonderful colleague, and she has been here probably for three years. You know, she is writing a piece for me. I'm super excited. We have been going back and forth with the project, maybe, you know, how long you want the piece and what kind of subject. You know, she, it's very, at the very primitive stage. I think it's my mission to be the advocate of modern composer. Although, of course, a composer which is already made a name. There's a reason for it. Maybe Mozart, because his simplicity, because the piece, the structure is super clean. Maybe his way of style people really like. There's a reason. We do play them. So I do play the living composers as much as I can. Two people wrote two compositions for me. One piece is called Shanghai Rag, because I'm from Shanghai, China. He's a pianist. He's a master of the ragtime style. Uh, I started at age of five. My father is a violinist. Actually, he was a concertmaster for Shanghai Opera House for 22 years. My parents didn't want me to play the violin, actually. So they, it's not their choice, but I am somebody who is like going to his rehearsals in the Shanghai Opera House. I remember probably is my first experience of Madama Butterfly by Puccini. It's remained my favorite opera, you know, after all these years. At that point, our financial situation cannot really afford a piano. Apartment by then is a very small, so always a violin. Later, I developed affinity to music in general, everything I love. In China, you know, I, I remember my, my daily routine will be you know, go to school, and then when I get home, you know, eat dinner, I will start to practice probably 7 to 10, you know, in the bathroom. I went through this um, 
primary school of Shanghai Conservatory of Music, and the middle school, high school in Shanghai Conservatory 40 years ago. And then by this last year, I was hired by the Shanghai Symphony Orchestra. By then, my father left his job from the Shanghai Opera House and went to Shanghai Symphony. And then the conductor liked me very much, so invited me to join the symphony whenever I can. I'm still the senior at Shanghai Conservatory of Music, but whenever I have free time, I will go there rehearsal and play concert. And sometimes the funny thing is I will be sitting with my dad. In China, I already, because of the, the affiliation with Shanghai Symphony Orchestra, I get, get opportunities to perform with them in Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Macau, either accompany an international competition or just regular concerts. It's always a dream to come to a foreign country. My aunt lives in California, so she connected me and first I want to, I applied for San Francisco Conservatory Preparatory Department, but uh, unfortunately the visa was denied. So it took me quite a few times to eventually get out of the door and come here to study. First I went to Pennsylvania State University and did two years of my master's then. And then after that, I went to Eastman School of Music in Rochester, did my doctorate degree. For a student to get to a level to be a professional takes so much out of them and maybe even out of their parents. When you just started to play the violin, I think the parents need to be super supportive, have to have plenty of patience. I would recommend, if possible, to start early. If, if my own example is I start from five, probably will be good because at that point, your muscle, your memory is really sharp. You can remember things, your muscle can, can twist this way and that. When we're getting a little bit older, if you're past age of 15, it gets a little bit harder. And also, I think you have to live in such a disciplined or somewhat, somewhat routine. You have to dedicate yourself saying, okay, I'm going to devote myself, if you're very young, every day, half an hour. I will, maybe that's a long span of concentration. I'm going to do 10 minutes, a little break, another 10 minutes, another break, because that actually change your personality as well. Of course, you have to have a good teacher, which give you at least the correct setup. If your setup is incorrect, it might create a little bit problem. For example, if I sit straight, if I do this, I will have a very good spine. If I always like twisted or, or this way or crouching or, you know, hatchback, you know, it will create a little bit problem with your body. It takes a lot of time. And also, maybe the last thing is studying music definitely needs some talent. Some people maybe are very talented in different fields. Maybe music is just not their thing. That can happen sometimes as well, too.